Hello producers! In this tutorial we're going to look at how to find and download sounds from the internet to use in Audacity. Now let's get some terminology straight first. When we're talking about sounds, whether they're a minute long or a second long, those sounds, we refer to those as samples, sound samples. If you're using music as your medium, then you may refer to those as loops. But for this exercise, we're going to refer to those as samples. So let's have a look now how to find some samples on the internet. You notice that I have a browser open here and I have Google. Now you can use any browser you like and you can use your favorite search engine. It's all fine. But let's do a search for free sound samples. And I'm saying free because all of the activities and projects you do in here in this course, you can do with free sound samples. You don't need to pay any money uh, on the internet in order to get sound samples to complete any of the tasks you need in this course. So let's do a search for free sound samples. Now you'll notice we get quite a few results here. Uh, you can explore these and find ones that work best for you, but you will find many, many results. freesound.org, sampleswap.org, these are good sites. There are many, many others as well. Depending on what you're looking for, certain sites specialize in certain types of samples. Some sites may be great for music, and some sites may be great for things like Foley samples, which will be used in TV and in movies. Sometimes you may want to find samples that are very specific to a project. In here, in this course, we have to do a Halloween project, so let's do a search for some Halloween sound samples. And again, we get lots of results here. You can see we have Sound Bible, and we slide down, we have lots of other ones, Free Loops, and again, that term loops we talked about earlier if you're doing music. Let's go to Sound Bible, right here. Now, when you go into a place like Sound Bible, just like many, many sites, you're able to preview the sound samples, and you can download the sound samples. You can see here, we have Creepy Laugh, so that's a, that sounds like a good one, Thunderstrike. You know, all kinds of different ones that you may want to explore. You can push play here and preview these. And you can also click on the site itself to download it. So let's try Creepy Laugh. And when you go into Creepy Laugh, you'll see that you can still preview the sound by clicking the little play button here. For Sound Bible, this is what it looks like. But for other sound sample sites, it'll be a little different, but same idea. And we're given a couple of options for downloading. We have a wave option we have an mp3 option. Now if you're not sure about the difference between WAV and mp3 files, there's a, a, a video tutorial here in this series that explains all about that. But in a nutshell, WAV files are larger to download, but they sound great. mp3s are smaller to download, but the sound quality is pretty low. I prefer to go with WAV because I want my projects to sound the best that they can. So you can click and download the WAV file, or the mp3, to your computer. Now, as you start downloading these sound samples, they're going to get really messy really quickly. I would suggest that you make a folder on your computer for your sound samples. If you start working on a project, you may download 20 or 30 sound samples in no time. And before you know it, it's going to be a big mess. So create a folder for your sound samples and get it organized. Now let's look at how to bring these samples into Audacity. I'm going to get rid of the browser. And you see I have Audacity opened here now with no sounds in there. And I have a sound sample right here on my desktop that I want to bring in. Now there are a couple of options for bringing it into Audacity. And this works for Windows computers and for Apple computers. I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio. And if I do that, I can go to my desktop and you'll see I have my, my sample right here. I can click the sample, click Open, and it will bring it directly into Audacity. Now, if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to drag and drop, I can also do that. If I just take the sound sample and I drag it on with my mouse and drop it, it will bring it directly into the project as well. So it's a couple of ways of bringing it in. So there you go. That sound samples how to find, download, and and import into Audacity.